Peace fam, it's your brother Larry Rye here, and I just wanted to share my thoughts on using the iPad Pro as a sketchbook compared to most traditional methods. I'm going to walk you through a Procreate time lapse of my latest painting, where I will discuss my thought process as well as demonstrate how even a Procreate amateur such as myself can use it to speed up the creative process. Please leave a like on the way out, comment below, I would love to hear y'all thoughts, and subscribe if you like art related content. I appreciate y'all, let's go ahead and get into the time lapse. All right, let's get into it. Um, first things first, if anybody's not familiar with using programs or digital programs like Procreate, Photoshop, the first thing you gotta get used to is the layer and function. And um, there's gonna be several times when you're getting started that you're gonna be drawing on the wrong layer and you might get a massive part of your piece done on that layer and have to just completely do the whole thing all over again. Um, unless you learn early how to copy and um, paste on another layer, it's gonna be some trouble. But once you get used to it, you'll find this like one of the most exceptional tools in conceptualizing. And I'll explain some of that later on when we get to like closer to the finished product. But here, you see me trying to draw in this space and just really struggling through it. Trying to get my proportions, my angles, my perspective right. Um, and of course, I'm drawing off of hilariously um, a very masculine and muscular figure. You know, the Black Panther figure I pulled out of my um, son's toy bin. You know, you have to have some kind of reference for those, but it doesn't have to be just something perfect for you to be able to get what you need out of it. So, and I also highly recommend that anybody that's um, struggling as I am, you know, doing this face, it's sometimes better to kind of leave it where it's at and go on to another part of the painting that you are more comfortable with trying to, you know, within the same painting or concept, rebuild your confidence and get back out there stronger. So here I'm just, you know, using this same, um, you're gonna see me continually, continually use this reference figure to just figure out not only, um, the positioning of the body and the angles on everything, but also the lighting and where it's coming from and how it lands on the body of the doll. Here I'm just adding some color in. I use the round brush the whole time. Uh, Procreate, Photoshop, they have like millions of brushes. There's even people that sell brushes. So, you know, I just use the round brush because I'm not looking to sell my digital art anytime soon. I'm just using it as a means to create and, uh, you know, learn about what I want to do and what I don't want to do in my paintings. It works out really good for me so far. Here I'm just adding the hands, um, just as it is in the reference photo. Put a little color on them, a little shading. Just enough to get the idea across. But if you, if you see on the left hand side, I have the mold there. When I'm originally conceptualizing what I think a mold is, I'm thinking of like a cookie cutter. I'm thinking of something that's like that. And later on, you'll see that I actually end up transitioning into more of a, a mold you would see as, you would think that they would put a doll in or like a, a piece of pottery or anything else like that. So just going through the process of, you know, doing things and erasing things and starting back over. If I got to this point in a traditional sketchbook drawing, I would have been able to just erase that and just start back over. Um, I would have to go through pretty much restarting the piece to get that concept across without, you know, No, nah, I would just have to restart the piece. I think that's the only way I would have to go around it. And so here, just, you know, fleshing out, femin finishing in that uh, feminine figure, adding a little color to the clay, playing with some background colors. Um, another thing, again, with the layer function, I can go right behind all the things I've done and create a background without touching anything else, which you couldn't do. And as you see here, I have three hands here because I actually did a whole nother um, painting before this one. 
and I used the hand from that painting because I like the angle of it and I like I feel like it told the story better to have the hand here with the blade down at the bottom molding the figure than the one at the top. Here I'm just, you know, adding some background elements again. I chose to change the hairstyle, which again, if I had to do that on a traditional method, it would have took a long, a much longer time. And it probably couldn't have been done all on the same page. I would have had to start over. Here I'm just adding some highlighted elements. And um, I think the last piece of this right here is just when I take the mold, I'm gonna erase that, I'm gonna redo the table, then I'm gonna just completely build a mold, a 2D mold, I'm gonna break it in half, and then I'm gonna use that to create a 3D figure on the table. So all in all, these are just things that you just couldn't do in a sketchbook, if you already have things set up on top of it, you'd have to just either start on another page, but you couldn't just draw right on top of your old drawings and erase things as efficiently as you could using the digital uh, digital process. So, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. This is the last little part of the process when I'm completely doing a mold from scratch, breaking it, and setting it on the table and making like a 3D process. And then, um, I don't think I have anything else that I'm doing here. But just pay attention to how, if you see me setting the mold on the table, and I'm going to completely do what I want to do with it, and then bring the foreground back in just with a click of a button. Another thing, like, you, you can't get through traditional art this way. So I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you do explore Procreate or any digital program, even, even as a traditional artist because I definitely feel like it helped me with my creative process and it's definitely sped up um, my creative process. I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you watching this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you around. Peace.